This video will be an overview of fields uh, that are used for data collection and storage. So to add fields, we'll go to Project Setup, go to the Online Designer, and we'll have to select which instrument we want our fields to reside under. And so to start out, we may want to go with Demographics. Every project will have Record ID as the very first field, regardless of what instrument uh, is the first instrument. And Record ID is an internal identifier used to separate out data. Uh, you don't necessarily need to worry about it, but it will be very helpful to you as it uh, separates out the different records of data. To add our own fields, we'll simply select Add Field, and we'll have to select a field type. And the field type is going to be um, chosen depending on what kind of information you want to collect in that particular field. Uh, and we'll have videos describing all of these different field types, uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select text box, the first field. The field label is what's going to be seen by the person inputting the data, whether that's uh, a research assistant or a survey taker. And so as the first question in the demographics instrument, uh, we may want to ask, what is your first name? And it doesn't have to be in a question format, but you just want uh, the person entering the data to understand what information goes there. Uh, every field is going to have a variable name, and the variable name is a way of internally identifying that data. Uh, you want it to be short, uh, but descriptive, so you know which data belongs in this field. Uh, so we may call this first underscore name, uh, because it's only letters, numbers, and underscores here. Uh, we may want to make this field required, and I always say as, as a good practice, you'll want to make everything required uh, unless the IRB uh, says that you aren't able to, or unless it's uh, really sensitive information. Uh, making the fields required uh, means that no one's going to be able to submit uh, information that's incomplete and maintains your data quality. Uh, also, this is an identifier since it is a name, and so we want to make sure we mark that. Uh, if, you, if you're going to do any sort of de-identification later on, um, you want to make sure that you mark, uh, you pay attention and, and mark identifier for any identifying information. We'll click Save, and now we have a field.